Then this is why I don't connect with y'all. Because y'all don't love yourselves. So because y'all lost y'all fundamental instincts of survival, which is no animal trying to survive will put himself in a hostile situation. No animal would do that. No creature in his right state of being would subject itself to the hostilities of forces that, that could delete them at any time and take away their life at any time. Nobody would do that. Survivor is putting yourself in a situation where you can see them coming. Putting yourself in a situation where you're not under their rule of law. Where you don't have to worry about going in front of a judge that's an extreme racist. That's survival. We've lost our fundamental uh, instincts of survival. We think survival now is assimilation. That's not survival, man. That's kissing ass. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's me. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. They got a New Orleans song made by BG. If it's fuck me, nigga, then it's fuck you. I'm not about to try to be friends with people that don't want to be friends with me. I'm not about to try to go out of my way to make connections and alliances with people that don't want to connect and ally with me. I'm not about to do it. And this got nothing to do with race. I'm just not going to do it. It's, it's, a, it's a core philosophy in me that won't allow me to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not about to mess with nobody that's antagonistic towards me. I'm not about to try to befriend nobody that's aggressive towards me. I told y'all on a recent video that I seek peace. I seek the most peaceful solution to everything. It's all I'm looking for. What is the most peaceful route to this thing? What's the most peaceful thing to do? Sometimes separation is the most peaceful thing you could do. What? You stay over there, I stay over here. If we really was concerned with the plight of black people in general, black people in general will be pushing for segregation right now. Uh -uh. Right now. Y'all not pushing for segregation because y'all don't want to be away from these people. That's the problem. Y'all use pro-blackness as a way to cry your way into their hearts. Hopefully they'll give you something. Hopefully they'll, they'll, you know, change the way they treat you, feel sorry for you. They are never going to feel sorry for us. They don't have that in them. Can't you see that? Every time one of those police shot and deleted an unarmed black teenager or something, they donated to these people funds. George Zimmerman got rich, lightweight, but he lightweight got rich. The lawyers took most of the money. His lawyers got paid millions of dollars. And he walked away with millions of dollars in his pocket that he blew through. Got rich. For what? Because he pursued a black teenager on his own after being told, don't do it. He pursued a dude, a fight follows that he starts. He's getting beat up, so he, he hits the dude up and deletes him. And now he's a hero to these people. It got so bad that the crowdfunding websites stopped them from doing it. Had to stop it. Not that they care about us either, but they're looking at the optics of it. They are at least smart enough to look at their own interests. We don't even do that. Uh -huh. You know, when businesses pull back and push back against these races, they're not doing it because they like us. They're looking at the optics. They're looking at how it benefits them. We don't even look at how things benefit us. Ooh. We are so fixated on being a part of these people's society that we are willing to take anything do anything, say anything, support anything, except our own selves. Because that's the, that's the shell game. Pretend like it's all about black people when it's really not even about black people. It's about white people. And this is why we have a fundamental disconnect. Because I honestly don't care about them, bro. I honestly am not trying to be their friend. I'm not trying to be nobody's friend. Again, it's not even about race. I ain't trying to be nobody's friend and don't want to be my friend. 
that's black, white, Chinese, it don't matter. I ain't trying to date no woman that has some kind of hostile views towards me. That's black, white, Chinese, it don't matter. I ain't trying to associate or affiliate with no grouping of people that 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 just that we don't share fundamentals with. That's regardless of who it is. We don't want the same things. I want to be left alone. Y'all want to be assimilated into. Y'all want to be integrated into. I want to separate. And not just by race. I want a parallel community, a parallel society. I want to separate from everybody that has different interests. I don't want to be around black, LGBT, ABCD people either. Whoa. Not because I got some kind of phobia. I just don't want to be around that. They are hostile towards me. I am a straight black man. They hostile towards me. They not my friends. They would never be my friend because they don't want to be my friends. I don't want to be around nobody that don't. If it's fuck me, then nigga, it's fuck you. That's my mentality. And if y'all had that same mentality, y'all would move differently. See, this is why y'all can't fool me. This is why I don't get caught up in what y'all say. This is why I'm not impressed by the pro-black talk. Because I'm looking at your actions. I ain't worried about what you say. I'm looking at what you're actually doing. Like pushing this out of Africa lie. Like pushing this slave lie. Y'all talk about 40 acres and a mule. We can get way more than that if we claim our indigenous status. But we won't do that. Although that would be the most beneficial thing to us. Leaving going your ass back to Africa or claiming your indigenous status would be the best thing for us And we don't want to do either because that's not really what we want What we want is to try to figure out a way to, to force ourselves into the lives of these people So you can always tell a man to speak from God about what he actually says What I say goes against this system Point somebody else you can't point to Farrakhan because he don't say nothing that goes against this system you know, he, he talks in circles, but the truth of the matter is, he's not challenging anything. He's not going against anything. Dr. Umar Johnson is the same way. He's not challenging anything. He is not going against anything. These dudes' whole grift is to sit there and call us stupid. That's And, and, it, and it works. That's what all these brothers that came from the nation do. That's what all brothers like that come from the Pan-African circles do. They all, their whole grift is to call us stupid. Oh, y'all so stupid, man. Y'all don't want to get out here and do it for yourself. Y'all don't want to do this, you know. But, but everything they claim is for self is still within the system. That's no surprise at all. What good is building a, a, a independent school if we still got to teach the curriculum that they approve? What good is it? What good is it of, of, of buying a house when you never own the damn thing? What? What good is it? Oh, I'm a house owner. I bought a house. I, but you never own it. Oh yeah, they paid for it. Stop paying them taxes. Watch what happened. You paid for it, huh? Stop paying the taxes. Well, you know what I mean? That's property taxes for the school. You got a kid in school? No, I don't have a kid that's then you my, my kids are, are grown or I don't have a kid in that school district. So 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 what you paying for? Well, I mean, uh yeah, see you can't answer. The truth is y'all don't want to oppose nothing going on inside this system. This system is anti-black. It's extremely hostile and, 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 and aggressive towards us. We have no real benefits in playing these games at all. But yet, you won't get us to leave or claim our indigenous status. You won't get us to do anything. Separate here, demand se segregation, leave, claim our indigenous status. You won't get us to do anything here that's actually beneficial. Instead, what we do is cry. Because what we really want is for them people to accept us as pets. And this is why I don't connect with y'all. Because I'm not trying to be nobody's pet. So because y'all have lost y'all fundamental instincts of survival. Which is no animal trying to survive will put himself in a hostile situation. No animal would do that. No creature in his right state of being would subject itself to... To the hostilities of forces that that could delete them at any time and take away their life at any time nobody would do that we've lost our fundamental 
uh, instincts of survival. We think survival now is assimilation. That's not survival, man. That's kissing ass. Survival is separating yourself and protecting yourself. But anyway, man, I'm done, man. I'm done. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Blackout. Salam.